I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spin me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of Kentucky. Matter of fact, we're going to make a stop at the Kentucky State Patrol Office where we find Elevator Boy. It appears as though he has an outstanding warrant for his arrest. Now, why would you go to a police station with that? I don't know. But anyway, let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. All right, guys, we're here with Joe at the uh, Kentucky State Police post number four, which is uh, Adam Sandage's police post. And what we're gonna do here is do some records requests to get all of uh, the information that the Tyler family needs, should have gotten originally. So, say hi, Joe. Hi. <laughs> Joe's learning his camera skills. This is our frauditor right here, little Chrissy. Also known as the Elevator Boy. Ah, well, he's at the police station today, but he's going to run into a bit of an issue. Let's carry on, shall we? One hour later. TV is all as, as obvious as shit. If we would have um, made that video earlier, this wouldn't be going on right now. Right. But all this has happened to happen because the video was held for so long. Well, that's what they did. Yeah. They held the video. They now, the video. so the state police is, it, it, the officer we're here on, Adam Sandage, it was his video, it was his dash cam yes. that, that ultimately Came ended out. up getting. Um, Hardin County ain't provided nothing but a statement, and it's bullshit. Its sheriff is obviously crooked as hell. Um, now, these two yahoos are at the police department to file a complaint on a police officer that they had no interaction with. This was something that they saw and they want to file a complaint about it. So they have no business there. They really don't because nothing has happened to either one of these yahoos. But something will in just a moment. Oh, let's carry on. Back in the blue line instead of the, the moral thing to do. So the sheriff over there at Hardin County don't give about the law. He just gives about covering his illegal criminal boys, obviously. So, um, but that will be next on our list is going over to Hardin County and find out what's going on over there and why that sheriff's such a piece of shit. I'm not cool with shitty sheriffs, y'all know that. So, I made the call about two or three minutes ago. All they gotta do is come out and get this document, but I did request for them to give us the CAD report as well as the actual um, police report. Remember, the information that these two yahoos are seeking has absolutely nothing to do with them. Why are they doing this? Oh, they're freedom fighters. They're Captain save -a Let's continue. On that incident that they would have um, by Sandage. Sandage would have been required to have done the police report. So if he doesn't have it, boy, going to be up. along with his whole entire agency. I think they know that. Excuse me, bud. When you get back there, will you maybe ask and see if they can, if they're going to be much longer? Would you mind asking if they're going to be much longer? Uh, who's uh, the sergeant. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, okay, thank you. Look, elevator boy, nobody cares how long you have to wait. You just wait your turn. But not to worry. Somebody's going to come out and help you right now. There you are. Hey, Did he man. want to, he's got our complaints there. Oh, there you are. I'm Chris. John. I speak to John. Well, you mind turning around, put your hands behind back. You have an active warrant. I think we're going to change his name from Elevator Boy to Rocket Scientist. Who in their right mind goes to a police station with an active warrant? Oh, our good friend Chris does, don't you, Chris? Now stand up and turn around, boy. For what? 
from 1999, possession of marijuana. Uh, you're full of shit. No, I'm not. No. Yeah, you Turn are. I have never had marijuana. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. All right, Joe. Sorry. Yeah, he can film. What's, you gotta put that phone down. Mm -mm. I don't even do marijuana. No, oh, that's what they all say, boys. Just turn around, put your hands behind your back now, make the process much easier. Just tell Joe to go home and get Tiffany and get the bail money. Oh, the poor lad. He spent two days in there. Oh, my goodness. That's all right, because I don't mind suing you. Can I have his key? Yeah, how's he going to get it? Just give me a record. No weapons on you? No, no weapons on you. Is this your wallet? Yep. I don't con consent for a search either. Well, you're under arrest, so it doesn't I know what you're saying. Oh, did you hear what the lad said? He doesn't consent to searches and seizures. Now, you can forget about that, sonny boy. You're under arrest, and that Fourth Amendment's right out the window. So shut your mouth. Go along with the program now, sonny. I don't have an active warrant unless somebody set me up. Is it you all set me up? Sure not. It'd be a big old mistake. That'd be you. Well, there you have it, folks. This was a one hour and four minute live stream. You think we're going to watch all that nonsense, especially when he's trying to file false copyright strikes? Well, he'll probably say I slandered him now. He claims he never did that wacky tobacco, and this is all a big mistake. Well, he was still arrested, boy, and you still spent two days in the pokey. Or was it the slammer? Which one was it now? Let's tell the truth, boy. Well, at any rate, I don't care about this guy. He started with me. Now he's not going to get off the hook that easy. Not to worry, though. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Frauditor. Hmm, I understand you have a job. I wonder how they'd feel about your escapades with the popo. Well, you ought to think about that, boy. Not to worry. Thanks for stopping by, though. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.